What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing today? My bad about all of the the gaps between all of my videos and stuff, and I haven't done a video in a long time. But today, I just want to make a quick video because I have some time, quick commentary video, whatever you call it, about what happened to Junior, a.k.a. Lisandro Guzman Felix. He was a 15-year-old boy from the Bronx. If you've heard of the hashtag justice for junior you'll know somewhat about what happened so anyways i'll discuss about what happened to this young man who lost his life unfortunately in the bronx so what happened was junior aka lisandro went to the to the bodega little store by his neighborhood in the bronx and during night he wanted to go give five dollars to somebody that one of his friends and what happened was these five guys and they're arrested now which is good i'm glad that they got arrested they found out well they found out where they were staying at which was patterson new jersey which is like 30 minutes from the bronx and then they the the officers they found they caught him there they got caught up in the patterson but anyway what happened was he was he was at the bodega little store in his neighborhood and these five guys these five Dominican guys came up to him and they started beating the shit out of him. And then there was there was recordings from the camera and people were recording their cell phones that help him, helping him, which is kind of messed up. I feel like people should just help him instead of recording the whole damn situation. But that's another topic for another day. So they were beating the shit out of him. They were punching him, stabbing him with machetes and stuff. And then... And then he was just on the floor bleeding, and then they were just recording it. Like, instead of recording it, how about you help him? He could have still been alive today. Unfortunately, he's dead, and he he was killed, and then they buried his body. They may his soul rest in peace, and then may his family get... My condolences go out to his family, and I hope his family's doing well. And I hope those guys rest that killed him rest in hell, and they get the death penalty, to be honest. Anyways, and then they said the reason why they stabbed him, this is a piss, this is shit that pissed me off. They stabbed him with machete and killed him is because of their sister or one of their female cousins. He was dating their female cousins, apparently, and he broke up with them. And then he they he exposed that he was fucking with his their female cousin. You can't kill somebody because they had sex with your cousin. And and or accused him, somebody of having sex with your cousin. And then the worst part is that the the five men grown-ass men by the way who killed this boy this man was that they said at the end oh wait this wasn't the guy so you assume that because he looked like he looked like the guy that slept with your female cousin he looked like it you didn't even have any proof that he was the one you went up to him and you killed him so you killed a random guy and you shouldn't have even killed anybody because they break up with your cousin and have sex with your cousin that's just me though you just, that's not somebody that's not worth killing somebody over but man this was a whole damn messed up situation to be honest and i'm gonna say this they're lucky that new york wasn't open carry said otherwise somebody would have blowed their brains out with a pistol i'm just saying that is what it is they would have blown out all five of those cats But rest in peace, Junior. May your soul rest in peace. May those, may those guys that killed you rest in hell and get killed in prison. I hope they get killed, slaughtered in prison with a prison shank. And yeah, man, it's a whole fucked up situation. Sorry about all the cursing, but you know, I gotta, I gotta say, sometimes you gotta say what's on your mind. And they're straight simps too. They didn't even. It's real messed up. It's real messed up, man. Shit. It's real messed up. Anyways, guys, have a good one. I'm out. God bless his soul. And yeah, man, this shit hit, hit home to me because I'm from Worcester. So that's like two hours away. Was to Massachusetts, so I'm like, that's like two and a half hours away from the Bronx, so it's real fucked up. Kind of hit home, it hella hit home to me. But anyways, have a good one, guys.
donate to his family if you can. It's just real messed up, man. Have a good one.